Hi, this is Icasa Studios, and today you're going to learn how to solve the 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. Before you learn any algorithms to solve the cube, you need to learn the basics, like what types of pieces there are and the patterns of the colors. So, the patterns of the colors, white is always opposite of yellow, orange is always opposite of red, and green is always opposite of blue. And the pieces on the Rubik's Cube, the little squares, there are different types of them. There are center pieces, which are the pieces in the middle. There are edge pieces, which are these pieces. And there are corner pieces, which are on the corners. Center pieces are always in the center, edge pieces are always on the edge, and corner pieces are always on the corners. So when you have your cube, center pieces, edge pieces, corner pieces. So the pattern of the colors, if you're holding white up, goes blue, orange, green, red. Now, we're going to learn how to solve the cube, starting with the first layer. Now we have the cube messed up. So, the first algorithm, the first thing you need to solve is the white cross. To solve the white cross, you need to get the correct white and some other color edge pieces to their correct spot over the other color's center piece. So this edge piece has white and red. So we need to get it above the red center piece. So this piece has to go here without messing anything up here. Since green's already solved, we're going to do red. So, the first algorithm to get an edge piece above its correct center piece is take the edge piece, move the bottom, move the bottom away, the top, middle, down, move the bottom, back, and the top, middle, up. Now we have these two because the green was already solved. Now we need to move on to the next one. If a piece is ever like this, and it's already in its above its correct center piece, but it's on the yellow side or a different side besides the white, you just need to turn it twice. Now the only side we need to solve is orange. If a piece is like this, you just turn it twice down. Then we need to do the same algorithm. A bottom piece goes away, middle top down, Bottom piece, back, middle top, up. Now we have the white cross. Next, we need to solve the corners. To solve the corners, we need to choose a corner. I'm going to choose this white, blue, and orange one. We need to get it into its correct spot. This color has white, orange, and blue. We need to get it between the white, orange and blue. We can't do it from here because this piece has white and blue but it doesn't have orange, it has red. So we turn it one. Now this piece, this side, has white, orange, and blue. So now we turn the corner and we perform this algorithm. Turn the corner piece, the bottom piece, to the opposite direction of the side that you want the corner piece to end up in. So the algorithm is away, turn the bottom piece away, turn the side that you want it to go into down, turn the bottom back, and the left up. It's the same thing if the corner piece is on this side, like this one is blue and red, just it's backwards. So it's bottom piece away, Right side down, bottom back, up. Now we have almost solved the cross. We just need to solve two more corners. If a piece is over like this, you do this algorithm. Away, down, back, two times, then back up. Now you have it correct. So now 
you do the bottom piece away, right side down, bottom back, right up. And we'll do the same thing for this one. Away, down, back, up. Now we have solved the first layer. To solve the second layer, we need to get the correct get the other correct edge pieces like this red and green to into its correct spot so since this is red and green we need to get this piece here with the green side here and the red side here so the algorithm to do that is you have the white facing up and you move the bottom edge piece away from where you want it to go down you move the right side down or whatever side you want it to go in so it's away, bottom piece away, right side down, bottom piece back, right side up. We've misplaced a corner, so away, down, back, up. Now we have the green and red edge piece in its correct spot. Now we do the same with the other colors. Now we have orange and blue, and we want this to go here, so bottom away, Right down, bottom back, right up. We misplaced a corner, so away, down, back, up. Now we do this again, but we're doing it on the opposite side. Away, bottom away, left down, bottom back, left up. Misplaced a corner, so away, down, back, up. Now we just have one more to solve, the green and orange. Away, down, back, up. Misplace the corner, so away, down, back, up. But if there's ever only pieces with yellow on the top and some of the edge pieces are not solved, then you just move the yellow into their spot, into the spot of the one that you want to get out, and then you just do the algorithm again with the correct piece. So now we have solved the second layer. To solve the third layer of the Rubik's Cube, we need to solve the yellow cross. To solve the yellow cross, we need to find out if there's a dot, an L, a rod, or the cross. In this case, there's an L. So with an L, you hold the cube so one side of the L points towards the right, and the other points toward you. Then you perform this algorithm. Turn the front to the left, lift up the right, turn the top to the left, Bring the right down, bring the top back, turn the front back. Now we have a rod. So to solve the rod, you need to hold the rod so it's long ways, like one side points to the right, the other side points towards the left. So then we perform the same algorithm again. Turn the front to the left, lift up the top, turn the, I mean lift up the right, turn the top to the left, bring the right down, bring the top back, and bring it in. Now we have the cross. Now that we have the cross, we need to solve the yellow edge pieces. To solve the yellow edge pieces, we move it so two correct ones, well two edge pieces are in the correct spots. So I'm gonna move the orange and blue. Then we perform this algorithm. One incorrect side points to the right and the other points towards you. Then we perform this algorithm. Lift up the right, spin the top twice, bring the right down, bring the top back, Lift it up, place it in, and bring it down. Now we have the cross. Since we have the cross, now we need to solve the corners, which will solve the whole cube. So first what you do is find a correct corner. This one's completely correct. And you hold it into the right, into the front right corner. Then you perform this algorithm. Lift up the left, turn the top, lift up the right, turn the top back, bring it down, plate, turn it again, bring it down. Now... We have to do it again. Lift it up, turn. If it doesn't solve the centers every time, I mean corners every time you do it, then you need to go to a different side and turn it so it's correct. Then you do the algorithm again. Now we have this one correct when it's like this. Now we do it again. 
lift up the left, turn the top, lift up the right, turn the top back, bring it down, place it in, and bring it down. Now I do it one more time. Now we have this side saw, this one solved, and these. Now we need to do this one more algorithm to solve the whole cube. So this algorithm is the longest one. It's lift up the right, spin the top twice, bring it down, bring it back, lift it up, place it, and bring it down. Now we do the same on the other side. And we do it one more time. Lift up the right, spin the top twice, bring it down, bring the top back, lift it up, place it, and bring it down. Same on the other side. And now you have just solved your Rubik's Cube. Now so that you know how to solve the Rubik's Cube, you can learn patterns. The first pattern that we're going to learn is a really easy one, and it's called the checkerboard. To do the checkerboard, you hold the cube whichever way you want. I'm going to hold it like this. Then you move the sides down too. Then you turn it, and you keep doing it. And then you have a checkerboard. Again, to solve it, you just do, you just turn the sides to again. And that's the checkerboard. Now, for the next pattern is called the flower pattern. You still hold the key whichever way you want. Then you turn the middle to the left, turn the top, middle, down, turn the um, middle, back, and the top up. Now, it's like a flower, because there's the petals and the flower pot. And to solve it, you just do it backwards. Middle, down. I mean, top, middle, down, middle, back, up. Now, those are the two patterns we're going to learn. Then, we're going to learn the next pattern, which I don't know what it's called, but it's a cool one. So, you do the checkerboard, and then you do the flower. I don't, and to solve it, you just do what you did backwards. I don't know what that one's called, but it's a really cool one. So bye-bye. Check out more Icosa Studios videos and please subscribe.